It was a huge night in high school football because, Connor, we started to find out who's going to state championships. Absolutely. You know, uh, some of those A-man competitions, uh, you know, and, and no, for one of them, we had a preview of a potential what was game of the year earlier on and, uh, you know, a lot of excitement. So we're going to be seeing who's playing for a gold ball coming up here soon. All right, let's find out. Diving into the highlights now. Number one, Stern Skank. Number two, Holden Met in the eight-man small school North championship. Minutemen opening drive. Trouble with the snap, but Cameron Atkinson recovers and passes to Sam Jacobs for a 20-yard touchdown. Eight nothing Stearns. Shires opening drive. Four than one. No problem for Isaiah Urban. He's off to the races for a 42-yard touchdown run. Eight six minute men. Stern Skank responds with their own running quarterback. Atkinson zigs, zags, and then he shrugs off one last tackle on the sideline <laughs> on a 50-yard touchdown dash. 14 to six minute men. Got to show some love to the big guys. Connor Urban hands <laughs> off to number 51 Gage Folsom for 20 yards and a first fourth and eight from the 17. Doesn't matter. Urban finds Sam Boone wide open in the end zone. Tie game. Stern Skank strikes back. Third and long. Atkinson is gone. 42-yard touchdown run. 22 to 14 Minutemen. And then Stern Skank pulls away to win 62 to 20. The Minutemen will face Old Orchard Beach for the state title. Now for the Mount Ararat Eagles taking on the Camden Hills Windjammers with a trip to the state championship on the line. And it is the Eagles who struck first with just over six and a half minutes left in the first. It's Dash Farrell with the game's opening touchdown. The Eagles would add another, but here come the Jammers. Ryder Lombardo with a dot to Isaac to Till. That makes it 12 to 6. Now Mount Ararat's defense really began to take control. Here Dash Farrell gets the interception with a chance to take it all the way to the house, but he won't quite make it. But after a run uh, like that, you got to give him the rock. Here they do. He goes into the end zone as they go up 18 to 6. Now the Eagles would extend their lead in the middle of the third as they give it to Nick Dowdy. And look out, they go up 24 to 6. Where remember, last time these two teams played a major comeback win for the Jammers. So Camden Hills needing a spark in this one, and it looks like they could get one here. Down big in the second half, Braden Beveridge will shed some tackles. He will find some open space and will take this all the way to the house. But the Eagles would not let another comeback happen. They give it to Downey again, and he will fight his way in for the touchdown. The Eagles will face the Greeley Rangers for the state championship after beating the Windjammers 48 to 12. To Class A, second seeded Lewiston hosted third seeded Bangor. Blue Devils up 14 to 8 in the third until the Kyle Johnson short touchdown run gives Bangor a 15 14 lead. Three minutes left in the fourth. Bangor on fourth down from the Lewiston 25. Johnson takes it. Not not only for the first, but for the touchdown. Get off me. Extend the lead to eight. Blue Devils try to rally on fourth down. Jeffrey Randall finds Lonnie Thomas, who picks up the first down inside Bangor territory. Later in the drive, Randall tucks it and runs and dives to pick up another first down. Ouch. Then facing a fourth down, Randall scrambles around trying to find someone open, but the pass is up and falls just oh. incomplete painful Bangor moves on 22 to 14 over Lewiston and next up is the Portland Bulldogs. Now, Spencer Emerson in his first season as Falmouth head coach led the Navigators to the number one seed, taking on number five Mesolonski down 16 to seven at the half. A fatal first few minutes for the third for the Eagles after a Ben Robbins TD catch in the first minute of the half. Trey Walker keeps it and goes 32 yards for the touchdown. They're up 30 to seven. Then Mesolonski would fumble and Indy Backman scampers in from 16 yards away. Falmouth would score four touchdowns in the first seven minutes of the third and get five in the quarter. Falmouth advances 51-7 over Mesolonski. It's a rematch of the Class B North Championship last year between the Lawrence Bulldogs and the Coney Rams. To get things started, Preston Roy takes it out of the backfield and takes off. There he goes. Juke. R2, dive into the end zone, <laughs> open the scoring. Coney loves airing it out. Parker Moore in the deep shot to Ethan Demons. I saw him doing that at uh, summer camp on that field, and he's doing it all the way through the playoffs. That sets up this rushing touchdown for the Rams, who still trail after a missed two-pointer. Now, we know Roy can score, but how about this? Uh, more jukes, Connor. <laughs> Ouch. Looks like My a big game out here. That one hurts, and his buddy in the backfield, Colton Carter, gets some of the love when he takes it in himself. Put the Bulldogs up big going into the half. Lawrence moves on 28-12, and we'll see 
Falmouth in the North title game. Now, number one, Herman hosting number four, Oceanside in the Class C North semifinals on Ticket TV. Herman's Bruce Coulter dashes up the middle for a big gain. Now, he would cap off the drive leader with a touchdown run. No Hawks up three, scores in the fourth quarter. Sam Hopkins scores with a short touchdown run and a tough night for the Mariners. They get on the board in the last minute when Zeb Foster scores on the edge, but Herman moves on 32 to six. The Hawks will face the winner of Saturday game between Nokomis and Madomic Valley and Ben how about those Herman Hawks they are off to the northern main title game love to see it quarterback number five Old Town going to number one Foxcroft Academy Class D North semis on Eastern Main Sports ponies galloping early Landon Smith is off and running number 25 scores from 25 yards out for the early lead FA up 16 when Griffin Caruso burrows in on fourth and goal inside the one yard line touchdown ponies Shot out the Coyotes 29 to 0. And we pick up with Winthrop and Deergo right after halftime. Ramblers up 22 to 6. And that's courtesy of two first Cody Cobb touchdowns. And he is off and running again in this one for the touchdown. And Ben, don't blink, you'll miss it. Yes, that is Cobb again. His fourth touchdown of the night. And Winthrop is in full control now here in this one. Deergo trying any effort of a comeback to get into the red zone with this deep touchdown. Time. Ooh, just inside the five, but a shot to the end zone won't connect and is going to be picked off. That is going to be a Ramblers ball in this one. Now they give it right back to Dirigo, but deja vu, another end zone interception to wrap a bow on another Winthrop win. And the Ramblers will face Wells for the South Regional title. Foxcraft Academy awaits John Baps for the uh, or Winslow in the North Championship game. Lots of great football left, some big games coming up, including